What is up people? We are back at it milking the combat preview for one last video because I see a lot of comments on weapon specific skills and I want to discuss why I think Ashes of Creation does not need weapon specific skills. So sit back, hit that subscribe button and let's jump into it. Taking a look back to that basic weapon attack preview we got last month, Steven at one point stated that there will not be weapon specific skills in Ashes of Creation. This really threw me off as he was playing a weapon master class who had a world Wind ability and this ability was being done with not only a two-handed sword but also with dual wielding daggers as well which honestly really isn't that big of a deal at all it just seemed odd to me given what a lot of us are used to with this specific ability alone in mmorpgs in a world of 64 classes there will not be weapon restrictions for any of them a rogue could use a staff a mage a two-handed sword and a tank could dual wield some daggers in every ability you have as this class will be usable no matter what you are wielding. So essentially you could be a weapon master class like Steven was in the live stream and while performing this whirlwind ability you could even be wielding a spell book. Does this mean that you're slicing up paper cuts to all those enemies around you? Well we really don't know how that works yet but just because it is possible to use every weapon with any class doesn't necessarily mean that you should as various weapons will have various perks that may not make sense for you to use depending on what you're playing as. And as this weapon master class, it may not really make sense for you to pick up that spell book over a sword at any point unless you're role playing. I feel like Intrepid unlocked the weapons for every class because there are so many combinations that you can make. Your main archetype could be a fighter, but you could combine that with a mage, so then you could be using swords or staffs. We really don't know how these classes are going to play out yet as we haven't really seen most of them. In most MMORPGs, when there are weapon specific skills they are related to that class you're playing and tend to make sense for the spec you're using so you aren't going to be tanking using a sword and shield and have a two-handed weapon skill on your hotbar it just wouldn't make sense unless you're a complete noob so honestly what is the point of them it's not like you're going to make a two-handed tank build around that one skill when a sword and shield would always benefit you far more so i completely understand the direction intrepid is taking but that doesn't mean you can't customize your build more around the weapon you are holding ashes of creation will have what is called a weapon skill tree something i'm sure many of you have seen in various mmos before but if you haven't it basically means that the weapon that you wield will have its own skill tree separate from your player that you will be able to spec points into in a lot of cases the weapon skill trees do grant you weapon specific abilities but in ashes of creation's case it will grant you proc effects from skill combos rather than usable skills for that weapon alone so in a sense they're just passive abilities for your weapons one of the examples Steven has given in the past on how this works is, let's say a dagger has some slashing effects that uh, bleed the target or that cripple the target or, you know, do something along those lines. Every time you attack, you have a chance to proc that effect. That effect then can synergize with what your active skills tree has available to it. So let's say your backstab deals 30% additional damage to a bleeding target. If you attack with your main weapon first and the target gets the bleed proc off and you do your backstab skill then, you're synergizing your effects. And it is something that you will want to think pretty carefully on. Like with most talent trees, you won't be able to max out every single perk. So you want to spec these weapons to have them match up with how you want to play with the rest of your skills and talents. There are over 15 confirmed weapon types for Ashes of Creation from spellbooks and orbs to swords and shields, which means all 64 will have access to every one of these weapons. And having a skill tree that unlocks a weapon specific skill could be a bit chaotic with that many weapons and that many classes, especially as you are leveling up and constantly upgrading your weapons from questing and crafting. Because you're not at the end yet, so you're gonna constantly be finding new upgrades, which would then cause you to keep changing up what's on your action bars, so weapon specific skills really don't make sense with the vision Ashes of Creation has, although it is definitely something some of us will need to get used to. What are your thoughts on the lack of weapon specific skills in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to do so using the referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.